the Glock 30 SF. Uh, we've done mainly 1911 reviews and a few revolvers. We've done a couple of uh, Glock reviews lately, uh, the G44 and also the G48. Um, I, I, I wasn't in the market for this gun, uh, but um, it found me. Welcome to Rider's Range. We're going to talk a little bit about the Glock 30 SF, the small frame 45 caliber Glock pistol. Uh, I saw this listed at my uh, local gun store on uh, on their ad, and um, it looked interesting only because it came with more than 300 rounds of ammunition and six magazines, four of which are 13 round magazines, plus a 9 and a 10. Uh, that was intriguing in and of itself because the, the, the price was such that I'm paying for the uh, ammo and almost getting the gun for free. Uh, it's used, obviously, couldn't turn it down. When I picked up a look at it, I found it had night sights, that's a plus, and these are aftermarket night sights, and they're very nice. And it also has a really, really nice trigger. Uh, again, just to double check, the gun is empty. This trigger consistently pulls between 2.6, or uh, 2 pounds 6 ounces and 2 pounds 11 ounces and uh, it averages out to just about two and a half pounds. Uh, no complaints. It's got the usual Glock take up. Not much sponginess as it goes through the wall, just a little, and uh, almost no over travel. Glock, audible, short reset, and a two and a half pound pull. I, I was impressed. Turns out I, uh, I have met the guy who uh, turned this in. Uh, I know him as a revolver guy. I know he's also very, very meticulous, so everything in this gun I know uh, he did uh, to suit him. Uh, but again, he's a revolver guy, so he got rid of this Glock 30 SF. So we're going to put it through the paces here on Rider's Range, uh, mainly with uh, my reloaded ammo. Uh, when I sighted this thing in, I got some failures to fire uh, two out of a box of 50 to start with. And uh, those were with Winchester primers in my hand loads. Uh, when I ran arm score ammo through it, it uh, seemed to work fine. Uh, so maybe this gun uh, just doesn't particularly like uh, Winchester primer reloads. I uh, was getting primer hits on it, but uh, and the second time around, those rounds went off. So uh, I'm going to try them again. We'll see where it goes. So if I get a failure to fire, it's the, uh, it's the primer. We're going to put the eyes and ears on and try this at uh, 12 yards and uh, just see how this 2.5 pound trigger on a Glock 30 SF works. We're going to start out with a 10 round magazine. This one's only loaded to 9 rounds. Uh, I like loading everything just to use my fingers. I don't like using the Uplula loader unless I have to. I had to in order to get 10 rounds in this, and with 10 rounds, I can't seat it in the gun when the slide is forward. Um, nine rounds, yes. 10 rounds, can't do it. So this one's only loaded to nine rounds. Ten inch on the left, just to see what it does. Silhouette. Plates. All right, Glock 30 SF at uh, 12 yards. That's okay. Let's uh, let's move on out to 25 and just see what this will do over there at the 25 yard range. All right, we're going to start on the uh, going left to right, uh, the 12 inch, then the 8 inch, then the uh, big silhouette, and uh, let's see the orange 10 inch next to it, and then we're going to concentrate on the uh, on the silver silhouette with the orange center and uh, the orange uh, knockouts on it. We'll see what we can do with that. Oh, come on. There we go. And there is with the arms core ammunition a failure to fire. Good primer hit. We're going to put it back in and I'm sure we'll get it on the second time around.
All right, we got to get those two back. There we go. White ten on the right. Back to the eight inch. Silhouette. Orange ten. Twelve. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, two and a half pound trigger takes a little getting used to. Let's uh, see if this will ring steel at fifty yards. All right, we're set up at 50 yards. Getting the Glock 30 SF. This is going to be using my reloads. And uh, we're see, going to see how this works out of the 13 round magazine. And I did get 13 rounds in this with the Uplula loader. And uh, again, it's got the Winchester primers on it. So we'll see if it goes bang every time. I'm going to start with the silhouette just to make sure I can hit it. All right, first round on a Winchester primer went click. Uh, it's going to be too difficult to get it back in that magazine. We're going to go to. Uh, we're going to stick to the same magazine. It's got 12 rounds left in it. So a lot. Oh come on! I know I can hit it. There we go. 12 inch next to it. Orange 12 inch. White 12 inch high right. Oh, come on. Settle in the trigger. All right, let's uh, try the white 10 inch on the left. There we go. Orange 10 inch next to it. Last shot, we got it. Just a quick look at a, a bargain Glock 30 SF 45 caliber out here at Rider's Range. Seems to work okay for me. Hey, if you like these videos, we appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, by all means, subscribe, click on notifications if you haven't done so already. Any comments on this are highly appreciated uh, below on this video or on uh, our website to uh, anything else you want to see on Riders Range, um, any comments on anything else, or if it's on a different video, obviously comment below that. Info at ridersrange.com. Check our website, see what's going on. We just updated the website with uh, some consignments, and check that out at www.ridersrange.com. And that's the Glock 30 SF out here on Riders Range. Thanks for visiting.